Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Miniart and it's an interior kit. So it might be interesting for this modelers who missed the M3 release from uh, this brand. As you can see we get another M3 Steward, this time it's early production version. And as an interior kit it might be also handy build for some uh, diorama ideas. And of course what I have on the table is the final shape of this release, so you will get exactly the same stuff if you order it for example from Madelimax. Uh, kit number is 35404 and you can see the box art is quite colorful so uh, we have here the tank in one of the markings and here is comparison with my hand it's uh, I would say a relatively small box for <laughs> considering the fact that we are dealing with interior kit here on the side you'll find also some safety information and info about the manufacturer and on the opposite side you can see also I think it's seven markings options which is quite impressive and of course the small mention that the decals are coming from cartograph so this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside so as you can see all parts are sealed into one plastic bag and then we have assembly manual on the bottom so I will put them to the side and I will try to open the plastic bag quickly with the scissors obviously because it's a sealed plastic bag and in the meantime I can also remind you that I checked the other versions of the M3 Steward from Miniart on this YouTube channel so in case you are interested in checking them you can find it easily on this uh, channel and of course you can also find the link to the review article in the video description which is also quite handy because there I usually post the detailed photos of the parts Okay, so what do we have here? First of all, we have this envelope with a Miniart logo, so usually they hide the P thread here, and as you can see, this kitten is not an exclusion from this rule. And we have several parts here, so let's zoom in, maybe close the lenses a bit so that it won't be that bright for you. And as you can see, these are P parts both for external and internal features, uh, so overall, I would say the uh, P parts from Miniart are quite high quality, so there are no issues whatsoever with them. But of course, uh, with some parts you will have to be careful in order to install them properly because, well, they are really tiny and you have to be, uh, let's say, uh, precise in your movements or maybe use the uh, special tools which will help you with this. Okay, and by the way, uh, all of those P parts, as you can see, they're wrapped from both sides into the film. So this is also a good thing for overall, um, I would say, consistency and go overall quality of the parts. I'm just checking the clear sprue. I was trying to understand what we have new here. As you can see, these are various periscopes and also we have the headlamp lenses. Uh, the clear plastic is quite nice. I would say it's a traditional feature for Miniart, but also traditional thing is that they do not give you any masks or templates. And I'm still wondering when we will see such bonus in Miniart kits, because this is a really useful thing. And um, I mean, it allows you to get a more precise paint work on the model without any time expenditure on your side. Next we continue with uh, decals, so as you remember decals are coming from Cartograph, so that's why we have a really nice printing quality, I can bring it even closer and if camera will focus you can see that we have even some decals for the interior and overall printing quality is really good, all symbols are readable, it's not just some uh, marks which kind of mimic the real thing. Next we continue with the first grey plastic sprue, so here I will just open the lenses a bit and zoom out. So as you can see here we have various interior parts, these ones will be used for the engine compartment and they are looking quite nice. So it's just a matter of installing them carefully on your model and you will be good to go. Next we have mix of external parts. So here the most interesting part is the main gun here. We also have the main gun mantlet here and also some of the drivetrain parts. And by the way, casting marks on this uh, mantlet cover, as you can see, they're really nice. So it's just uh, something what is worth picking up with some dry brushing or maybe with some weathering methods. But overall, I'm really impressed with the molding quality here, especially considering that you get it out of the box. Another cool thing is that, well, it's an interior 
your kit you get an engine yes but here you get it in a very detailed version as you can see a lot of features are actually pre-molded so if I zoom in and show you those engine parts as you can see uh, this really deserves a careful painting and weathering because it will also make the whole appearance even more uh, realistic and I, I would say the assembly is also um, easy and that's thanks to the well thought design so this is also a good thing about mini art kits here we have some minor parts for the interior I guess this will be used in the driver compartment next we continue with the parts for the engine bay area and drivetrain so here you can see various panels and overall uh, it's pretty much the same quality level as what we saw on the previous spruce and if you flip it over here inside you'll find some guiding elements which will help you with alignment so again it's a, a nice clever design which should be pleasure to work with next we continue with the pioneer tools and as far as you can see, those are um, the suspension parts here. But as you can see, the design is quite simple. We have the tools supplied with the clamps. We have minor amount of flesh here on those parts and those tools, but I guess it's not a problem to clean them up. And the final result uh, should be worth it of this extra work. And as far as I remember, Minyard also offers the option to assemble those with the P clamps so it will be your decision whether you would like to go for a sophisticated version so here I'm zooming in and you can see that we have the radio equipment we have the jerry can here some of the pipings and all of this stuff comes in the standard set because it's an interior kit that's why they are giving us a lot of details to copy next we have the sprue with some parts for the fighting compartment there is even a tommy gun included here as you can see so all of this stuff is really nice attention to small features and the only thing which i'm usually worried about in such kits is that uh, you have to think how to expose all these things because otherwise it would be a shame to hide them inside next we have the turret so turret thanks to its design as you can see it is separated just into several panels you have to combine them together and you will be good to go this is a simple and smart thing and uh, the final appearance i saw some assembled models it's really good so you won't even tell that it was assembled out of separate bits next we have more parts for the various hatches so as you can see here we have the hatches which can be positioned opened and also if i flip them over we have the interior features as well so it's not something what miniard skipped on and it's just a plain part inside and this is also cool uh, attention to the small features in my opinion next we continue with the pair of the identical plastic spruce so i will show you here only one let's zoom out a bit as you can see we have the uh, track lengths here we also have the road wheels and drive sprockets and drive sprockets we have the attachment points right on the teeth in my opinion this is uh, way better than the position points uh, in between teeth so here it should be easier and faster to separate the part and have it ready for assembly next another pair of plastic spruce this one is even bigger and here we have all parts for the drivetrain bogies we have also the road wheels which are molded together with the rubber sections here and if i zoom in you can see the pre-molded features on the tire sections this is really cool attention to such small features and i would say this is something what you expect to get in the resin kit but not in a plastic kit so definitely a cool thing to have out of the box another um, pair of the plastic spruce here is a bit smaller but we have the various parts for the seats inside the interior as you can see everything is copied with a really good quality I don't see any possible molding damage or any other possible issues but the um, painting quality the overall paint work of course it will also uh, make it uh, the final appearance either convincing or not next we continue with another pair of plastic spruce so here we have the rivets and also some of the suspension parts as well as the machine gun and towing uh, cable hooks here so those are quite small parts you can see in comparison with my fingertips so be ready to work with tweezers with this 
And last but not the least, and this is actually the biggest sprue in the kit, here we have the panels for the lower hull section, as you can see each uh, is molded on its separate area and we have attachment points quite thin, so I don't think it will be a problem, but of course the box structure it will require a bit of the alignment check, even though here inside if I flip it over you can see that we have the guiding elements which will help you with the right alignment of the parts. And of course the interior features are pre-molded, so this is also a good thing to have in an interior kit. But that's not all, we have the assembly manual here, so let's close the lenses a bit. Zoom out, okay. So what do we have here is the typical mini art brochure. As you can see, we have short list of the features. We already discussed that there are uh, several marking options. It's written seven of them. And of course, we start with the marking guide. Uh, those are two marking options for this tank. We also have the parts map here. And keep in mind that Miniard does not show unused parts, that's why all sprues are just grey. And assembly process starts with the lower hull section. And what I'm looking at is that you can actually open the escape hatch from the bottom, or was it the servicing hatch? So feel free to write in the comment section, because maybe you know it better. And here we continue with uh, various parts for the fighting compartment. And as far as you can see, it's plenty of things are actually copied out of the box. And you will have to think it in advance how to paint all of these parts. Because as you can see, it's good that we get a lot of interior items copied out of the box. But it's also something what will require due care and also careful planning on how you will paint them. So that later you won't have to deal with the... Uh, reaching them somehow with a sharp pointed brush or maybe with a needle. And I know some modellers actually still practice assembling whole interior and then somehow painting it, but I'm rather uh, preferring the approach of painting some parts in advance and then just installing them into the necessary spots. So here we have another option for the open or closed hatch. And note that in some cases uh, Miniard also shows that you should use the metal wire and in my opinion this is quite important feature because if you are able to install such thing it actually adds some fine details to the model but what I'm still not sure why uh, here you can see that we have length but we do not have the thickness of the metal cable and this is really weird in my opinion the same can be said about this towing cable, for example, here. Actually, this is antenna, but anyway, you get the idea that it would be good also to know the thickness of this item. Next, we continue with the mud guards, also headlamp guards, and also the pioneer tools. Uh, here you can see also some installation of the main gun, and we continue with more items being added onto the lower hull section. Turret is assembled. You can assemble it in combat or stowed position. And also you can open or close the top hatch, install the antenna of course. And here are some final steps. So it's 130 steps to perform. You also copy the flag for one of the marking options. And here we have some other versions of the steward, also some figurines which can be compatible with this tank. Uh, two more marking options here. So it's the third and the fourth marking option. And here we have fifth, sixth and seventh. Note that we even have the Soviet winter camouflage from Red Army Eastern Front 1942, which is also an interesting thing to copy. So this vehicle or this tank should be already available and you can get it on official Modelimex webshop. Of course, I'll be happy to hear your opinion. So write it here in the comment section below and I will see in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.